Story time. My boyfriend and I bought a very old house. He was in charge of bringing in all the furniture and doing the heavy lifting while I was on wallpaper removal duty. The previous owner had papered every wall and ceiling. Removing it took ages but was oddly satisfying, kind of like peeling skin when you get sunburnt. I started peeling the paper away and discovered that under a corner section of paper in every room was a person's name and a date. Curiosity got the better of me and one night I googled the names. I discovered that the person was actually a missing person and the missing date matched the date under the wallpaper. We immediately notified the police and they sent out a crime scene team. After looking around a bit, they came up to me and said, where's the wallpaper you removed from the walls? Turns out it wasn't wallpaper. I'm done. <laughs> So now I'm trying out the KVD Lock It Foundation, which I've never actually tried before, so let's try it on. So just applying generously to the skin. We're just buffing it in with a fluffy brush. The coverage is insane. Also didn't bother putting on a primer just for the sake of this video, and it is sitting on the skin really nicely. I am actually obsessed with this finish. Thanks for watching, bye! Even Jesus wasn't perfect. He had loads of faults, apparently. Like what? Well, he's really into prostitutes. No. He was. No, who told no, you that? No, he's Mary Terry. Magdalene or someone. Oh. oh and apparently, God. also, he was massively sarcastic. Sarcastic? Yeah. Where did you hear that from? Mandy told me. Mandy? Yeah. Because there was this one time where 5,000 people went round to his house and said, oh, I heard you got a load of food for us. And he goes, what? The two fish? And the five loaves that I've got in the fridge. And they were like, yeah. And he was like, oh, OK. I'll just rustle that up for you then. How many of you is there? Just the 5,000 of you, is it? And they were like, yeah. So I've just done this eye makeup look, and now it's time for a super full coverage base. Starting off with the Juvia's Place Aya Magic Foundation. Just apply that generously and this is in the shade Cairo. You want to just work in with a brush using super light patting motions. Then just using the foundation stick in the shade Brasilia for contour. Again using a brush to blend it upwards. Then just using the Tribe Volume 3 for highlight. And just bringing the whole look together with the Velvety Matte Lipstick in shade Libra. I'm going to be telling you the scary story of the house I lived in in elementary and middle school. It was a three bedroom house, one bedroom in the basement and two bedrooms upstairs. Because I was the oldest, I got put in the bedroom in the basement. Right when we moved in, I already had creepy feelings about the house. I hated being downstairs by myself. One day I dropped a $20 bill behind my dresser. I decided to move my dresser all by myself and behind the dresser was this door. It wasn't a normal door, it was really short and just squared. It was also glued off so I couldn't get into it. Me and my neighbor, who were best friends, worked at it for days to get into it. We finally got it open, and inside was another room. It was almost like an underground attic. The walls were wooden, the ceiling was wooden, there was no carpet, but it smelt awful. My parents found out, and they were super mad at me for opening the room. They, of course, put that dresser in front of that door for a reason, because they knew I would explore it. But after that, things started to get weird. Stay tuned for part two. What's your name? Rachel. Rachel. And what do you do for a living? Nothing. I'm lazy at the moment. Do you ever sing professionally? Yeah, of course. I've been singing all my life, all around the towns and everything. Okay. Do you think that you're capable of winning this contest? Yeah. And how good from one to ten would you rate yourself? Ten. Ten? Whatever song you want me to sing, I'll do it. Gwen Stefani, I can sing. Prince, I can sing. Sheila E. Kylie, Dan, I probably could do Danny as well. I can sing. Better than Madonna. You're better. Yeah, I think. Go on then. All right, can I have a microphone then, please? She's holding a stick above my head. It'll find you. Where I come from, there's a place called heaven. 
This is why you need a security system for your house. A few years ago, I was renting a house in Northern California. The neighborhood was just outside of the suburbs. It seemed like the perfect balance of having space and having nice neighbors close enough not to feel isolated. The area had no street lights, so it was very dark at night, but it didn't bother me. I got home from work one evening in midwinter. It was a cloudy night, so pulling up, I only saw my headlights and porch light illuminated. When I got out of my car, I caught a whiff of cigarette smoke. That was odd as I had never smelled that before around my house, but I didn't see anyone nearby, so I ignored it and went inside. I had just gotten off a shift with a few hours of overtime and I was exhausted. It wasn't even 7 yet, but I decided to call it an early night. I woke up sometime later when I heard a noise inside of my house. I wasn't immediately worried because my best friend had a spare key and would sometimes come over. However, he'd always text me and let me know, but when I checked my phone, there were no messages. I called out my friend's name. There were a few seconds of silence before I heard someone stomping as they ran through the bottom floor. I leapt out of bed and ran to the closet. They were already up the stairs by the time I opened the door and stepped inside. I was terrified. That's when I heard them thunder down my hallway. So now I'm swatching a few shades from the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser range as they've recently extended the range and have some brand new shades. So this is shade St. Moritz which is medium with golden undertones. This is shade Mykonos which is slightly cooler than St. Moritz. And this is shade Sydney which is very similar to St. Moritz but has some slightly lighter undertones. So just applying the shade Sydney which is a brand new shade and perfect for my skin tone. As you can see, the product is super lightweight, which means it blends seamlessly and you can also build the coverage. It's also infused with SPF 30 to protect the skin, French Polynesian Kapora to hydrate and smooth the skin, and vitamin C to even out the skin tone. Now just add in a few finishing touches to my base. And then here is my final look, the most perfect, lightweight, flawless finish. Part 2 of why you should watch out for the shy ones. When Mark looked me in the eyes, something was different. There was a darkness in his eyes that gave me the goosebumps. He was deeply sad, but it wasn't sadness. It was almost like despair. I thought to myself that he's just grieving and if I were in a situation, I don't think I'd ever recover, so I respectfully left it at that. The next day, Mark was absent again. This is when a man starts hanging around the cafeteria during lunchtime. When I ask who he is, they tell me it's the counselor's husband. The rumors around the school kept getting worse and they were making me angry. Another week goes by and the atmosphere at the school literally turned to ice. The principal called all seniors to the gym for an announcement. This is when I see that same man that's been hanging around and he tells us the shocking news. Mark killed his mother by choking her. I felt the blood in my veins freeze. This man continues to tell us that he's actually a detective and was conducting investigations at the school. Apparently one morning, Mark had asked his mother for the car keys. She refused to give them to him because she needed them. That's when he jumped on her and strangled her. Then he came to school, sat next to me, and gave me his English homework as if that was the main problem of the day. He then went home and called the police later that day. Every now and then I think about Mark's empty eyes staring back at me. Hey man. Did you touch my drum set? No. Nope. It's just weird, because seems like someone definitely touched my drum set. Yeah, that is weird, because I didn't touch him. Hey! Did you touch my drum set? Hey, knock it off! I know you touched my drum stick, because the left one has a chip in it. You fucking crazy, man. You sound insane. Do you realize that? You should be medicated. Fuck you, Brennan! I know you touched my drum set, and I want to hear that dirty little mouth admit it. You get out of my face, or I'm going to roundhouse your ass. You swear in your mom's life that you didn't touch it then. I don't have to swear to shit. To anyone who gets a period, this video is for us. When I was in middle school, I really appreciated this teacher who would let the girls go to the bathroom whenever we wanted. And the guys would complain that they had to wait 20 minutes at least after lunch so that they could use the restroom. And the teacher would always remind them, you guys are boys and these are young ladies and they don't always have to just relieve themselves in the restroom. And I didn't even realize that that was just basic human decency for people who have periods until I got to high school. When I was a junior in high school, I was sitting in class and I felt like I was bleeding. And so I told my teacher that I had to use the restroom and he told me I couldn't go because it was the first 15 minutes of class. And I told him, it's an emergency, I really have to use the restroom. And he said, you should have thought about that at lunch. And because I'm not gonna sit here and bleed through my pants, I was like, I'm menstruating really loud in front of the whole class. And he was shocked and so uncomfortable. He started doing that thing where he tries to laugh like, uh, in all my 20 years of teaching, no one has ever told me that. And I just sat there and wondered how many Many girls before me had to sit in their own blood. Here's the difference between the original Hula and Hula Caramel. 
So this side is the original and it's a very nice light earthy brown. If you don't like lots of warmth in your bronzer and contour then this is the perfect shade and is very well loved as you can see. It's also a really nice shade for a subtle nose contour as well. And caramel has a lot more warmth than the original but I prefer to use it kind of this time of year when I fake tan and to get that nice sun kissed look. So just pop in a little bit of that on there. And this side just gives like a bit more of a warmer and more intense bronze if that makes sense. And obviously they're both buildable as well so I've just gone ahead and added a bit of the caramel to this side and this is the finished look. I've recommended this product so many times, so I'm gonna do a little demo today to show you how you can get the most lightweight, radiant, and flawless base. So here I'm using the shade Mykonos, and I'm just gonna start patting it into the skin. Look how nicely it blends in. It literally enhances your own skin by evening out the skin tone, and the best part is, is that it's infused with SPF to protect at the same time. For a little extra coverage, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Madeline, and this is also going to brighten up my under eye as well. Blend it out. So here's my finished look, and I'll also just show you the skin up close. So you